welcome to our daily news program coming to you here on Canal Algérie and in today's major headlines. The President of the Republic is officially received at the Empire Square by his Portuguese counterpart on the second day of his state visit to this Iberian country. A full convergence between Algeria and Portugal regarding international and regional issues including the respect of the UN resolutions related to the Western Saharan cause. Upgrading cooperation between the African countries is the main objective of the Sipsafila affair being held in Algiers. And a sightseeing tour to Jamila in Sirif province to admire the bewitching Roman vestiges by the end of our news. Good evening and welcome back. On the second day of his state visit to Portugal, the President of the Republic received an official welcome by his Portuguese counterpart Marcelo Robelo de Sousa. The ceremony began at the Empire Square, a symbolic place in the country's history. The two presidents then took a souvenir photo before listening to the national anthems of the two countries, accompanied by 21 cannon shots. The president's visit to Portugal in its second day was marked by intense activities that we discover in this exhaustive report compiled by Ines Quilo. After saluting the two national emblems, the President of the Republic, Abdelmajid Tebboune, and his Portuguese counterpart reviewed a detachment of the different armed forces, who then the honors.
The two presidents took a souvenir photo with the delegations of both countries. At the Empire Square, the President of the Republic visited the Cathedral of saint germain a World Heritage Site with a unique architectural style. The President of the Republic listened to explanations about the famous Portuguese poet Luís de Camões, buried on the spot, before laying with the flowers and signing the guest book. Also from the Empire Square, the President of the Republic went in a presidential motorcade towards the Belém Palace, accompanied by the Portuguese cavalry. He was received on the square in front of the palace by the Portuguese president, Marcelo Rebelo de Souza. The president of the republic and his Portuguese counterpart, Marcelo Rebelo de Souza, exchanged symbolic gifts. Afterwards, the President of the Republic greeted the Portuguese delegation. On his part, the Portuguese President greeted the Algerian delegation, accompanying the President of the Republic during this visit, including several ministers headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the National Community Abroad, the Minister of Energy and Mine, the Minister of Industry and Pharmaceutical Production, the Minister of Trade and Export Promotion, the Minister of Public Works, and the Minister of Knowledge, Economy, Startups and Micro-Enterprises. The President of the Republic, Abdelmajid Tebboune, took a souvenir photo with his Portuguese counterpart, Marcelo Rebelo de Souza, to perpetuate this visit. The President of the Republic then signed the guest book. The President of the Republic held a face-to-face -face meeting with his Portuguese counterpart. After this meeting, the President of the Republic had the opportunity to admire a view from one of the balcony of the palace. The talks between the two presidents were subsequently extended to include the delegations of both countries. In a joint press conference at the Belém Presidential Palace, the two presidents reviewed the prospects of cooperation between the two countries and the ways of strengthening them. They also discussed a number of regional and international issues of common interest. The President of the Republic reiterated Algeria's deep will to consolidate relations with Portugal and its commitment to making them concrete in all aspects.
The President of the Republic underlined the total convergence of views between Algeria and Portugal on all regional, international and development issues. The situation in Libya, Mali, the Sahel, Western Sahara and the Palestinian territories, as well as the situation between Ukraine and Russia, are among the most important issues tackled by the President during joint briefing. The head of state assured that Algeria aspires to settle the Sahrawi conflict within the UN resolutions and the decisions of the Security Council. أوكرانيا وروسيا إن شاء الله نطمح كذلك إلى حل مشكلة الصحراء الغربية حسب تعليمات الأمم المتحدة وقرارات مجلس الأمن وأكدنا كذلك دعمنا المطلق للقضية الفلسطينية for his part, the Portuguese president, Marcelo Rebelo de Souza, affirmed the support of his country and its respect of the UN resolutions concerning Western Sahara. قرارات الأمم المتحدة وكذلك في ما يتعلق في الصحراء الغربية ونود القيام به بأمور ديمقراطية وعمل ديمقراطي وعمل يرضي الجميع. The President of the Republic affirmed that the discussions with the Portuguese President were fruitful, frank and honest, and reflected the depth of political relations and was a good opportunity to enrich the political consultations, reflecting the diversity of bilateral cooperation in a situation marked by a complex regional and international context. محادثات مع فخامة الرئيس مارسيلو مثمرة وصريحة وصادقة عكست حقيقة عمق العلاقات السياسية وسمحت بتعزيز التشاور السياسي المنتظم المعبر عن الشراكة المتعددة الجوانب التي تجمع الجزائر والبرتغال في بيئة إقليمية ودولية معقدة. On the occasion of the celebration of the 210th anniversary of the peace and friendship agreement between Algeria and Portugal, which constituted the starting point of deep and multidimensional relations, the President of the Republic reiterated Algeria's attachment to this agreement of friendship, good neighborliness and cooperation signed on January 8, 2005. <laughs> أيام قليلة من الذكرى المئتين وعشرة لمعاهدة السلم والصداقة بين إيالة الجزائر ومملكة البرتغال في 14 جوان التي كانت المنطلق لعلاقات مكثفة متعددة الأبعاد نجدد الحرص على التزامنا بمعاهدة الصداقة وحسن الجوار والتعاون الموقع في 8 جنفي 2005 in other news, the President of the Council of the Nations, Salah Gujir, received on Tuesday the President of the Palestinian National Council, Rohi Fatouh, with whom he tackled the latest developments of the Palestinian cause, as well as the continuous Zionist violations. After highlighting the Algerian-Palestinian relations, Rohi Fatouh expressed his gratitude to Algeria and the President of the Republic for the continuous support to the Palestinian people. On behalf of the President of the Republic, an Algerian delegation paid a visit to Senegal so as to extend the most sincere condolences to the family of Al Qadiriya Al Kontiya following the death of the former Caliph Sheikh Al Belkay Ben Sheikh Al Belkay Al Kondah. 
Exploring more investment opportunities in Africa is the main objective of the Sipsa Filaha Fair being held in Algiers with Senegal as a guest of honor. More insights on this highly important economic event with Najah Tayyar. <laughs> At the heart of the agriculture, farming and agri-industry fair being held in Algiers, the Senegal participation as a guest of honor is distinguishing this addition that is marked with a strong will by the economic actors to relaunch the African trade. We are representing the first company in the agri-food and oil production industry in Senegal. We know that Algeria is a major agricultural country where there are many opportunities. This fair allows actors like us to meet and exchange to be able to work on opportunities now and in the future. We display today our product of vanilla, which is known by its good quality. There are now still few chances of export between the countries. This is why we are holding this exhibition in order to promote exchange between us, the Africans. The SIPS affair plays a major role in gathering the actors in the agri-industry and reinforcing the Algerian-African countries' economic bounds. Our company does fruit processing. We are also in yogurt, pastry and biscuits industries. Concerning the national market, we have started exports to North African countries such as Tunisia, Libya and Mauritania. So we have exported the equivalent of 70,000 tons of processed fruit. And the next target is West Africa. More than 600 exhibitors from 38 countries are present at this event, which will last until May 25th with a strong desire to diversify and increase the volume of the African exchange. A fresh air now in the heights of the ancient city of Jamila in Serif province, where Roman vestiges reveal the glorious history of the region throughout the different past areas. Let's follow our guide Najah Tayyar to discover more. The ancient city still stands proud on the hills of Niazi's mountain and slave, denoting the long and the primitive Algerian history. Jamila with its division details and lanes, causing a market. Sephora's Temple, Karakla Triumph Ark, and numerous elegant houses all depict the lifestyle of the ancient civilizations that Algeria knew, starting from the first century. This fountain is a crucial site in this city. It is unique in the whole world due to its unique form and height of five meters. Its history is back to the third century. In Jamila city, we also find a museum that displays a collection of mosaics that each of them is special and different from the others, all visualizing chapters of the ancient inhabitants' life, their writings, arts, and the nature they lived in. This mosaic tells us about the different animals that lived in this region and the inhabitants used to hunt. And about the other mosaic, it tells us about the gladiators' competition that the Romans loved, which was usually a human and an animal jewel. This historical city is a pearl to preserve due to its priceless value. And with that, we wind up our today's news. Thank you for joining us and goodbye.